You might remember from a previous video some of the problems that I had on a ferry on the BC ferry system, not being able to get out of my car and take the elevator up uh, to enjoy the ride and watch the scenery. And I've since taken several ferries and some of them have gone smoothly, but um, I, I don't know the percentage, but some of them did not go so smoothly. So I actually decided to make a, um, a video just completely dedicated to riding on the BC ferry system and the problems that I've had and just trying to figure out what the best way is to get on the ferry and be able to ensure that I will be able to uh, get off and get out of my vehicle while, um, while we're en route to wherever we're going and actually get up on the upper deck and be able to watch where we're going. So that's what this video is about. I uh, am on my way to Victoria from Tawasin. I want to talk about something right now because I'm actually stuck in my car on the ferry. Uh, I can't get out of the car because I can't get my wheelchair out because there's not enough space between me and the wall. The elevators are it looks like there's only two elevators on this ferry, one at the front and one at the back. And the all the parking for the one at the back was full and I didn't realize they were only front and back. And the guy said, just go to the front, um, you'll probably be close. And it didn't occur to me that I wouldn't, like often when I drive onto the ferries, I look for the ferry door and I park beside it, regardless of whether I leave spaces in front of me, because there's not usually somebody, sorry about the car alarms, when the ferry moves, people's car alarms go off, so I get to deal with that all through my trip too. Anyways, I hope you can still hear me. Um, like I was saying, I try to park beside a fair, uh, an elevator door, and then I move my car over a little bit so that I have room to get out. And it usually works pretty good, but I couldn't find any elevator doors to stop at, so it turns out that they're only at the front and the back of the ferry. I'm on the upper deck, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but um, anyways, close is not good enough when you can't fit between the wall and the cars. Well, I'm on a ferry again, and again, the instructions were not clear about how to get parked so I can't use an elevator again. This time I'm okay with it, it's only a 40 minute ferry, I'm going from Horseshoe Bay to Gibsons, and... I actually have a great view. I'm waiting for the ferry at, at uh, Earl's Cove. I've ridden the ferry four times in the last year. Of those times, there was only one time where I could get out of my car and get to the elevator. So I'm at a ferry right now, it's called Earl's Cove. Um, it's a little bit more backcountry than, than riding from, say, Vancouver area. Uh, so there's no attendance on site and you don't pay for this one. You've actually paid for it when you come over on the Horseshoe Bay Ferry. So I'm parked, I'm a couple hours early for the ferry and I'm parked in the lineup and one of the ferry guys came nearby so I thought, well, I'll check it out with him and just make sure that I know what I'm supposed to do once I get on the boat so that I can get next to an elevator because this is a new route to me. I really want to be um, not in my car. I want to be able to see where we're going and the guy comes up to the car after I flagged him over and, and said, I asked him, so is there an elevator on this ferry? He goes, yeah, that's why you're in this lineup, which uh, really, sorry, somebody's walking by. Sorry, I just wouldn't, didn't want to talk like that when people were walking so close to my car. It's hot out, so the windows are all open, but he, the guy comes when I ask him about the elevator. So I actually decided to tell him he was being rude. And of course that was a mistake because now I don't feel like I'm gonna get very good service once I get on the ferry. He's like, you're in an, you're in an elevator lineup. 
so yes, you'll be by the elevator. So I sort of explained to him that I've been in the elevator lineup for every single ferry that I've been on in the last four, uh, year. And only one of those times did I actually have access to the elevator. I said, so that's why I'm asking. I would like to know that I'm actually gonna be parked by an elevator um, and that I have enough space. And so I told him, this is the side that I get my wheelchair out on. So I need extra space. And he's like, yep, whatever, okay. And he walked away. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do when I ride ferries. It's not like um, everybody that rides the ferries rides the same ferry over and over so that they're familiar with each boat because some boats have different um, places where the elevators are. Some are only at the back and the front. Some are only midship and it's not always clear to me where I'm supposed to park if nobody's directing me. Um, the ferry from Horseshoe Bay to uh, Seashelt was clearly marked, but there was nobody there, and I wasn't sure if I was allowed to change lanes on the boat to get over to where it looked like, or if I could just park in the middle and use the access. It just, I wasn't clear what I was supposed to do, or whether there would be another elevator at the front of the boat, which was where I was heading. And when I got up there, there still wasn't enough room for me to get out, even if there had been an elevator there. So, BC Ferry System, not a fan right now. the reflection of my hazard lights and hear my hazard lights. Uh, the reason those are on is it's a signal to the people that are directing traffic that I'm the one that needs to be near an elevator. That is a good system. I like that, how that works with BC Ferries. Finally made it on board and actually to a deck that isn't the car deck. And it's very beautiful. just recorded a whole video without the video being pressed the video button so nothing got recorded anyways I'm on the ferry now I've been upstairs which has been great um, two different ferry employees came up to me and asked if I needed anything um, asked if I got parked by an elevator okay so I don't know if that guy that I had spoken to in the parking lot while I was waiting to load said something or maybe he realized that I I had reasons for asking and I wasn't just, I don't know, I didn't think I was being rude. It sure seemed like he was and maybe I responded the wrong way. Maybe he didn't intend to be rude, but you know, when you're in a, when you have a disability for a long time, you come to sort of almost expect that things are going to go wrong and so you're on your guard and um, 
anyways I, I'm always on my guard when I get on the ferries and this time after I'd had that minor confrontation with the guy that was doing uh, working in the parking area the loading area um, my heart was just thumping when I got onto the boat because I'm like I don't know where I'm gonna get parked I really don't I've never been this route before I really wanted to be able to go upstairs and see the scenery um, well I did I got to get upstairs and see the scenery so that was really great and I'm glad that it all worked out but uh, I can't remember if I've already said it on this video or if that was on the one that I didn't record is that it's really important that if you have a disability that you um, are your own advocate if you're shy about asking for what you need um, it's important to try and get over that because otherwise you get stuck in your car all the time or you know whatever the situation um, happens to be but just try to be your own advocate and um, try to do it nicely. I tried to do it nicely. I'm not sure that I was successful in that, but uh, anyways, we, I think we've docked. Another ferry crossing from Camp, uh, Port Hardy to Comox. This one went way more smooth, but it's partly because I'm learning to be a little bit more assertive about asking questions. So they were going to put me on the other side of the boat and I would have had wrong side access to my car for the lift. My lift comes out on the driver's side. I need room for that and uh, they didn't even ask. They just were going to take me to the other side so I stopped and said no my lift is on this side I need to be have the elevator on this side so they redirected me and this is where I am at Field Man if you're claustrophobic you don't want to be on this ferry well I'm on BC ferries again this is probably my last ride for a while I um, I don't need to use an elevator today But I'm not sure I would have got beside one anyways. They uh, they directed me, I don't know, anyways, I'm not sure what they were thinking when they put me where they parked me, but it doesn't really matter because I have a flat tire on my wheelchair so I wouldn't have got out anyways. I did ask for that, so they have me on a deck where you are allowed to stay in your car. But the people that are parked in front of me have an lady who uh, looks like she has difficulty walking and when the, and they are not near the elevator they had to take her wheelchair she can walk a little bit but she really struggles um, they had to take her wheelchair over to the elevator in folded mode and then she had to walk the whole she's still walking actually back there I think um, about five car lengths to get back to the elevator so I've asked them if they would let me interview them for this. I'm not sure if they will do that or not, but uh, anyways, I just wanted to mention that I'm not the only one that's, uh, that struggles with wheelchair access and it sure would be nice to on BC ferries. And I sort of made a point that I wasn't really gonna bash organizations on my YouTube channel because, you know, I, I just don't feel like that's what this channel is about but this channel is about accessibility and so I really feel like I wanted to name this corporation because of uh, you know because of all the trouble I've had and then just observing this family in front of me that were also struggling so if they come back I will interview them or at least the guy that was helping um, the woman that they were with. So, what's your name? Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm Joan. Hi, Joan. <laughs> my channel is called Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. Okay. So, I'm traveling in my minivan and I'm 
trying to, you know, get on and off ferries, and I've had trouble in the past. So, do you want to explain the trouble you just had? Um, on the smaller, on the smaller ferries, is trying to get my wife out of the car and trying to get our wheelchair around all the vehicles because we we paid for handicap parking and we wanted to be by an elevator. They told me to pull ahead, I'd be right by the elevator, but I'm actually three cars in front of the elevator, so my wife had to walk a lot, which is really difficult for her. And then trying to get on the elevators and waiting for the elevators is a pain in the butt. And trying to get out the doors onto the deck, if someone hadn't opened it, my wife would have to get out of her wheelchair, walk out, and then come back in. Have you contacted BC Ferries ever about it? No, uh, the last, uh, the bigger ferry, you don't have the issue. They put us right at the elevator on that one. Oh. So we were... And they have people directing you? Because that's the problem I have is I see the spots, but because I'm not a regular rider, I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to park there. Well, no, you're supposed to tell them when you, you do it that you need a handicap. Yeah, but if there's nobody, I do that every single time and I have my flashers on and the whole nine yards. And like, if I actually, I didn't want to be by an elevator today because I have a flat tire on my wheelchair. So... I'm okay. not getting out anyways, but but they parked me on the wrong side. Like, I've always had to stop getting on the ferry, too, because this is my access side. So I I've, I've always have to stop and hold up traffic and say, no, I'm on the wrong side. I need to be over there. Yeah, our, our biggest issue is just this, trying to get my wife out and get her up there. Got yeah. really bad knees and health issues, and yeah. it's a pain in the butt. I totally agree. Any suggestions for BC Ferries? Because I'm actually thinking I might try and get a hold of them and show them this. Well, the biggest suggestion is if you know you're going to have handicapped people with wheelchairs, put them by the elevator or put, make sure that they they go on the other boat where you can actually park three or four cars right in front of the elevator to get up. Because right. these ones are in uh, maybe put automatic doors going out so people can get out. Yeah. It's even hard with people with strollers with their kids and stuff too, trying to push the doors. Yeah, no kidding, hey? Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. That. You take care. Take care. So I just spoke to the woman who's driving the van behind me. She has a passenger with her who uses an electric wheelchair and they are just, they might be able to get their, um, their wheelchair out, but it would be dicey and a little bit scary. So the woman chose to ride in her van, um, for the whole hour and a half trip. So I don't really know what the answer is. They they said that they ride the ferry a lot and that it's kind of 60-40 um, that they would get help 60% of the time. They don't get help, I think, is what she said. At least that's what I would guess it to be because that's kind of what my odds have been. Um, and the only reason that there's a 40% there is because I had to advocate for myself most times. So... Anyways, um, thank you, Ashley, for asking, answering some questions. Hopefully you'll see this. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. So I guess what I've learned from all of this is that it's really important to let the ticket agent know um, because they have certain protocols in place where you have to place the, um, the handicap a picture of a wheelchair on your dashboard you have to put your um, hazard lights on so that they're aware that you're one of the ones that they want to get parked by the elevator so you let the ticket agent know and they give you the information and what lane you go down to make sure you get into the correct lane because there is a dedicated lane for people who need to be by the elevator uh, the other thing is is to as soon as you get up I don't feel like you have to really say anything to anybody who's guiding you onto the boat but once you're as soon as you get on the boat there's usually a guy right there and you need to let him know and if he's not um, sort of specific enough ask him where, where the elevators are and do I get out on the side or are we parked at the front of the boat um, I just just to make sure that and let them know that you need to get out on the driver's side or the passenger side whatever case your case might be anyways those are sort of the things that I've kind of learned and I wouldn't say that they're foolproof things but I think I'm getting better at this and hopefully uh, <laughs> now that I've only got one more ferry ride in my future too actually I'm sitting just near Bill, Mill Bay, waiting to catch the Mill Bay Ferry. It's about a 25-minute ferry that cuts off 
a bit of time going to Victoria from uh, the northern part of the island. And then the other one that I will be taking will be, I don't know how long I'll be in Victoria, but when I leave Victoria, I'll be catching the Swartz Bay to Wasson Ferry. And that might be it for, well, actually that won't be it for a long time because, well, I'll tell you about that later. I've got some modifications that I might be doing on my van and I will tell you about that in a future video. Anyways, hope you have a good week.